Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to show you how to handle out of stock products when you're running an e commerce store. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones with Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity. And I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to handle out of stock products in your Shopify store. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. I upload digital marketing videos that will help you to generate more revenue and scale your store faster. All right. So. I want to quickly talk about out of stock products and um, how we handle it, right? We've talked about it a lot um, during Clubhouse. I've talked about it um, during my Zoom calls with my members. And uh, I just want to show you. I wanted to create a video that was available to everybody that shows them what happens when you do certain things to a product page, right? So right now we're looking at the uh, back end of Milton's Daughter. And uh, I'm going to use the number 10 oval synthetic bristle brush as an example. So this product is currently active, right? So if I look the product up, this is it right here. Um, so let's just say I decide I put the product in draft. Now it's in draft mode, right? So in draft mode does what? Draft mode basically puts a product, um, gives the product page a, a broken link. So actually it takes a long time when you do it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go incognito and I'm gonna go to the product page. As you can see, the page is no longer found, right? So this page is no longer available. So what happens with this now? This is the product page here. I'm going to hit refresh. It's not found. But if I go to Google and I put this page in, oops, the URL, let's grab this URL. We're going to grab this part of it here. It's taking me to a page that's not found, right? So this page, let's go back to Google. Right here, we'll do Milton's daughter so that we get the exact. So this is the page right here. So this link still lives in Google. So if anyone happened to type in her product title um, or they're searching for oval synthetic brush and this URL appears and they click on it, <laughs> they're getting to a page that no longer exists, right? So people forget that when you put a page in draft mode, it is going to remove the product, right? And now you have a 404, which is what you do not want. Because as you can see, the link still lives in Google, right? So let's go back to this product page. We're going to make it active. We're going to make it active. We're going to, we're going to hit save because we don't want it to be um, a broken link. So, Another thing that I wanted to share is if you remove a product from your online store, right? So actually, before we do that, let's refresh this. You see the product page is back. Let's find this. So this lives in, let's see, oval synthetic brush. Let's go to the collection that it actually lives in. Was it Paint Pixie? Yes, Paint Pixie. So this is where it lives, right? This product is in the Paint Pixie collection. So let's just say that I remove it from my online store. Now, if I remove it from my online store, this is gonna no longer live in the in the collection now it usually takes a while before if i go incognito of course it'll disappear so let's just go ahead and do that paint pixie incognito 
as you can see, it's gone. It's gone because we removed it from the online store. So it no longer lives on this, on this uh, collection page. However, if I type in, let's go back to the actual name of the product, 10, number 10 oval synthetic brush. It no longer lives on this product page, but if I search it, it's not here, right? There's no results. So you have to think about this as well. If you make it unavailable in your store, then this link still lives in Google, right? This link still lives in Google. So let's just say I put it back. I'm going to put it back. Um, another thing that a lot of people do is we'll go to products. This is the product right here. Another thing people do is they like to archive products. <laughs> so let's make sure that the product is back really quick before we, we test what happens when you archive a product. So it's back, okay? So now we're going to archive a product. We're going to archive the same exact product. So now the product is archived. So what happens when we archive a product? So we'll go ahead and go incognito because things seem to work quicker when you go incognito. You got a 404 again. When you archive a product, you end up with a 404. This is what you don't want, right? So you really have to think about, and we'll refresh this, gone. So when you archive a product, you end up with a 404. When you draft a product, you end up with a 404. When you remove a product from a collection, you end up with a 404. And remember, the link still lives in Google. So when people click on it, they land on your broken link, your broken link, which is your 404 page, right? So I'm going to set it back as active. And again, it takes a minute before it appears. Okay, perfect. So if, if you need to get rid of a product because it's not coming back, then you have a few options. You can redirect this page URL to a similar product, right? So this is the number 10 oval synthetic bristle brush. She might send them to uh, another one, maybe the number eight. She might redirect that page to this page instead, this product, a similar product, an alternative product, or she may decide to redirect that page URL of the number 10 of oval synthetic bristle brush to the actual collection where people can look at all the brushes that are paint pixie, right? They may see another brush that they want. So Instead of just thinking I'll redirect to the home page, think about alternative pages first. Now, before you even do that, something that you may want to consider is how much traffic is this page getting, right? Is it getting any traffic? Are there any backlinks that point to this page? Because if that's the case, you may not want to redirect the page. If you have keywords driving traffic to this website, you may want to keep the page, right? And if you decide to keep the page, but the product is out of stock, the next thing you can do is what? Add a link to the similar product in the product description. So you're going to hyperlink it, right? You're going to hyperlink uh, the alternative product page. And you're going to call that product out for what it is. You're not going to say click here. You're going you're gonna to call it out, whatever the name of the product is and say that we have something similar, uh, check out the whatever that product is, whatever that name of the product, right? Uh, that's an option where you continue to get traffic to this page and you don't lose that or you don't lose backlinks that are pointing to this page. The only way you're gonna be able to check to see if you have any backlinks pointing, you can go to Google Search Console. There's a section in there that's called links that you can click on and you can click on external links and then find the product page that you're looking for or the collection page or whatever page to see if there's any backlinks. Um, and if you want to know if there's any traffic currently being driven to the site by keywords, 
you want to use a find a tool that will help you to do that, right? So you can also go into Google Analytics and look for that specific product page URL and see how much traffic you've gotten um, in the last year or maybe the month or half a year. Um, but there's ways, right? So I just wanted to show you guys um, what happens when you put a product page in draft. And this is any page on, on your website. It could be a collection page. It could be a product page. It could be a page, right? So like an about a page or a contact page. Um, put it in draft, broken link. If you put it as a, if you archive, broken link. If you remove it from your online store, broken link. So the option is to either redirect it, right? Redirect it to a similar product. Or if it's the page is getting a significant amount of traffic, you may want to keep the page and just hyperlink another product page, uh, excuse me, um, um, select, offer them another option, right? Um, so if you don't know how to create redirects, I have a video on my YouTube channel. Definitely, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I will be uploading videos there. Uh, but uh, it'll show you, there's a video that shows you how to redirect a product if it, the product no longer exists if that's the option that you choose. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, just post it in the Facebook group or email help at masteringpop.